Hello, everybody. They call it the eighth wonder of the world. Behind this shabby docket lies a truly outstanding example of engineering construction, which once again proves that there is no limit to human potential. In just 10 years, and at the cost of hundreds of lives, the builders of two completely opposing countries did the seemingly unthinkable. They built a real international highway through a previously inaccessible region and the world's highest mountains, where only shaggy yaks used to roam. It eventually climbed to a record height of 4,700 meters above sea level. This story is about fortitude, stunningly beautiful nature, friendship between peoples, and big politics. The problem of transporting people, as well as civilian and military cargo, in difficult mountainous conditions remains relevant for Asian states like the People's Republic of China and Pakistan. The two states share the highest mountain peaks in the world, 100 of which reach a height of 7,000 meters or more. The Karakoram, or Black Gavel, is a mountain range bristling with ice peaks. They are only slightly smaller than the roof of the world, which are the Himalayas. The Terrible Chogori, or K2, is located there. It is the second highest peak in the world, being 8,611 meters high and much more impregnable than Everest. Until recently, no one has ever been able to climb it in the winter. During other seasons, every fourth daredevil who tries to conquer this merciless mountain dies. The borders of China, Pakistan, Afghanistan, and Tajikistan converge there. Until the end of the 1970s, it was extremely difficult to even enter the valleys of the Karakoram. In the long run, this isolated but stunningly picturesque region opened up to the world. The Game of Thrones was to blame. In 1966, the leaders of Pakistan and China made an important decision to build a highway through the Karakoram, which was unofficially called the Friendship Highway. By that time, President Ayub Khan pursued a rather progressive policy of industrializing the country. Later, this period was called the Great Decade. Among other things, Pakistan invested heavily in the development of infrastructure, primarily the transportation system. The state built a whole network of national highways, one of which was the N35 highway, running through the Indus Valley. Pakistani military engineers and builders began to construct it in 1959 and their ultimate goal was to connect the mainland with the small city of Gilgit in the depths of the Kashmir. The construction took a break during the Second Kashmir War, but otherwise it dragged on for seven years. It eventually became the first section of the Karakoram Highway, a strategic highway of friendship, a monument to the close relationship of the new partners. In 1966, after the end of the Second Kashmir War, both countries decided to extend the already constructed road to the Pakistani-Chinese border at the Karakoram. For its part, China undertook to build this section of the future highway from the border to the city of Kashgar. It was located in the fertile oasis of Xinjiang and was already connected to the transportation system in China. The builders were supposed to meet at the Karakoram Kunjarab Pass at a dizzying height of 4,693 meters. It is only now that China has started building dozens of ground transportation facilities, such as a railway to Tibet, or the largest hydroelectric power stations, and even learned to turn rivers. In the second half of the 1960s, the Karakoram Highway was a great, unprecedented project for both countries. They had to create a road that was 1,300 kilometers long with 23 large and 73 small bridges and tunnels, gradually gaining kilometers in elevation. Moreover, they had to do it in a sparsely populated or even completely deserted highland area in the most difficult geological conditions, with constant threats of landslides, earthquakes, avalanches, and in an absolutely hostile climate. Construction vehicles sometimes had to be dismantled sent through mountain ranges, valleys, passes, and rivers in pieces, and reassembled at the new site. In total, several hundred builders from both sides died during the construction of the Karakoram Highway. By 1971, the brave Chinese people 
most of them from the People's Liberation Army, had managed to complete their 500 kilometers. The Pakistanis had to build the remaining 806 kilometers. Although a significant part of the road passing through the Indus Valley was ready, the rest of the construction had to be delayed. It was interrupted in 1971 by yet another Indo-Pakistani war. Eventually, the Chinese got tired of waiting, and Chairman Mao offered not only to finance the rest of the work on the Pakistani side, but also to provide almost 25,000 of his own construction workers. Through joint efforts, the Karakoram Highway was completed in 1978. But neither President Ayub Khan nor Chairman Mao lived long enough to see it. On June 28, the new leader of Pakistan, General Zia ul Haq, together with the Vice Premier of the State Councils of the People's Republic of China, Geng Biao, opened the Highway of Friendship in the city of Gilgit. The road wasn't actually ready at the time, and regular traffic on it wasn't opened until 1982. Foreigners were only allowed to enter this strategic highway in 1986. This road was given the impressive title of the Eighth Wonder of the World, although it wasn't exactly unique. Even before the war, the Pamir Highway was built in the USSR, connecting the Kyrgyz Osh with the Tajik Dushanbe. It passed through the high mountainous region of the Pamirs, crossing the Akbaital Pass 4,655 meters at its highest point. But still, the Karakoram Highway was international, took a record height of 4,693 meters, and, unlike the Soviet highway, looked a lot more like a real highway. Sure, the quality of the construction was questionable, especially of the Chinese sections on the Pakistani side. The rushed construction, as well as the harsh mountain climate, led to the destruction of the roadbed. During the period from late November to early May, traffic on it was closed due to snow drifts from the Kunjarab Pass. Then in the summer, the monsoon season began. Nevertheless, it did work. Trucks ascended past the icy mountains to unfathomable heights and then descended back into the river valleys. Previously inaccessible areas of the two states were included in their transport systems. According to the Chinese side, 24 bridges and 70 overpasses have been built on the Karakoram Highway. The highest point of the highway is at an altitude of 4,693 meters, and the lowest is at an altitude of 700 meters above sea level. During the construction, over 8,000 tons of explosives and 80,000 tons of cement were used. 30 million cubic meters of rocky soil were transported. On the Chinese side, 22,000 workers were involved in the construction work, while there were only 6,000 workers on the Pakistani side. Officially, Beijing invested about $39 million in the construction of the first stage of the Karakoram High Altitude Highway, and another $7 million was allocated to the Pakistani side in the form of interest-free loans. According to Chinese sources, more than 600 people died in the construction work and more than 300 were seriously injured. Large-scale work along the entire length of the road led it to resemble a modern highway with excellent asphalt not a one-lane semi-dirt road where you're at constant risk of falling into a kilometer-deep abyss. New bridges and tunnels were built. Some sections of the highway even expanded to four lanes. This unique project got a completely new meaning, but the additional billions in turnover that the upgrade of the road brought wasn't the most important thing about it. First of all, the Karakoram Highway remains one of the most beautiful roads in the world. Truckers aren't the only ones who get to enjoy the truly fantastic scenery of the Great Mountains. Ordinary tourists who aren't afraid of traveling through the always turbulent Kashmir can do so too. And even more so, they can do it without getting out of their car. That's exactly what makes this place the eighth wonder of the world. Friends, that's all for today. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.